these new cars with autopilot and co-pilot systems, you're thinking, cool, I'll just relax and play Fortnite like airline pilots do. No. Look, there's something we need to get out of the way right now. There are no self-driving cars yet. Not even a little bit. Autopilot or co-pilot or whatever name it's sold under, the human is always responsible for driving. It feels weird to have to even say that, but there it is. With that out of the way, here's a quick explainer on what the latest safety technology can and can't do for you. Ford calls this pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. One study found this feature is sold under 40 different names by various car companies, but they all basically work the same way. Forward-looking cameras and radar watch the road ahead. If they sense a crash is imminent, then the car will warn the driver with beeps or lights. And if the driver still does nothing, then the car will slam on the brakes. It can't detect all potential obstacles or necessarily avoid a crash, but it will try to make it less severe. There are two different technologies that help with steering. One is lane keeping, the other lane centering. Lane keeping is the more basic one and it just tries to push you back into the lane if you drift to the outside. Lane centering though always tries to keep you in the center. You never get used to this feeling where the, the steering wheel sort of moves in your hands. It is going around a corner, you can feel the steering moving. It's like a ghost in the machine. Adaptive cruise with stop and go. It's like cruise control on steroids. The forward-looking radar watches the road ahead and adjusts speed automatically to keep a set distance behind the car in front. So this car in front just cut us off, and then the, but the car picked up on it, and the adaptive cruise slowed down by itself. Just remember whether you've switched the system on or not, though. It'll be pretty embarrassing to crash into the back of a car ahead and try to explain, well, you thought the car was going to break automatically. So what's the lesson in all this technology? Basically, drive like it's not there. It's a backup, a last resort. If you screw up, it might prevent a crash, or it might not. Okay, I'm not braking. There's a car. We're gonna hit it. We're definitely gonna hit it. Oh. <laughs>